I have an idea. Let's make a super soaker. Let's vectorize a super soaker. So the first thing I did is I went to a search engine and I typed in super soaker and I got this image right here. I'm just going to copy this image and I'm going to go to Illustrator, open it up and do an edit and then paste. And I have my image right here that I can look at and refer to whenever I'm creating this. So I'm holding down spacebar to grab the screen and move it around and I'm using command minus and command plus to zoom in and out. So the first thing I want to do is I want to create the, the base of this water gun. So I'm just going to hit M on my keyboard, M, and then I'm going to hit I for eyedropper and just eyedrop that color. Now what I have is a rectangle and what I want to do is I want to go ahead and add a stroke to the rectangle too. So the stroke can be located right up here. If you don't see what I'm looking at here on this top row here, just go to window and then workspace and essentials classic. I like to work in that because uh, I've been working on it for so long and I like to have this row of options up here at the top. So I'm gonna go to the stroke here and I'm gonna just choose a color from this swatch menu, um, like a kind of a bluish color like that. And I'm gonna bump up the stroke to about nine, just like that. Okay, then I'm going to duplicate this by holding down Alt and then drag and then while you're dragging hold down Shift as well. And you can see the back part of this is a little bit longer so I'm just going to drag this out. Let me select both of these just by dragging a selection box around, of it, around both of them and move them to the side a little bit. Okay, so, so far so good. Now I'm going to get my pen tool by hitting P on my keyboard and I'm just going to click here, click here, hold down Shift, click here and then click back up here and then close it. I'm going to hit V on my keyboard, select this shape, right click, and go to Arrange, Send to Back. Then I'm going to refer back to my image again, and I think I want to go ahead and add a rectangle here. Hit eyedropper, or hit I to get the eyedropper, and just make sure that all of these shapes are the same color. Hit V to select this one, right click this, and Arrange, Send to Back. Okay, I need another shape here. Holding down Alt, just duplicate that one, and... Make it about that size is fine. And then I want to duplicate this shape here. Option, click and drag, or Alt, click and drag. And then just kind of resize this one. This is gonna be the orangish color, like that. Also with the same stroke and the same stroke thickness, which I had nine, I think. All right, very good. Kind of bring that back in there. Um, and then for the trigger, this little trigger handle thing, I'm actually gonna make mine blue. So I'm gonna hit P for pin, and I'm just gonna try to follow that same angle as the handle, hold down shift, and then go across there, then hit escape, and then come over here to the fill and cross it out. And send that to the back. Click on it with your selection tool, arrange, send to back. Then the trigger, I'm gonna also use P for pin, I click here, and then on your second point, click, hold, and drag. Hit V on your keyboard to deselect, select it again, and then go to Window, and then Appearance. On your Window Appearance tab, you want to click on Stroke, and then round off the caps. And I'm going to make my stroke thickness for this just a little bit thicker, like that. There's my trigger. Click on that, Object Arrange, Send to Back. And then I'm going to hit M on my keyboard create a rectangle right here, kind of move that over by dragging right on the path, hit I for eyedropper, eyedrop that orange color, and then send this one all the way to the back, V to select it, right click, arrange, send to back. All right, that's a pretty cool looking trigger there. Now I need to get this white part coming through the center here, so M on my keyboard, just make a simple little white rectangle, and that's gonna be white up here, send that to the back. Hit V on your keyboard, right click, arrange, send to back. Hold down Alt, click and drag down, and then hold Alt while you drag this to make it skinnier. All right, so far so good. Actually, you know what? I think I wanna make this fill color. Click over fill right here, click over here on the fill, and let's make it kind of more of an off-white. Click on this one, hit I, I drop that. There we go. And then this, I can actually continue this all the way over since it's back in the back. And then I can hold down Alt while I drag this orange square. Right click that, arrange, send to back. And then let's make another one. Actually, that one needs to stay on the front. And then let's make another one for the nozzle. Hold down Alt 
and then shift at the same time, move it over, hold down alt while you drag that top handle, and then right click, select that, right click, arrange, send to back. There's the little nozzle. I'm actually going to click on this and round off the corners on that one right there. There we go. And that was too much. Round it off just a little bit like that. Move it back in. Let me round off this one just a tad too. Not too much. Just a little bit. Okay. All right, looking pretty good so far. Um, I think I want to add another little um, cube right here. So I'm going to option click and drag that or alt click and drag that. Bring in that handle, move this up a little bit with Alt, and then now it's time to make this tube. So M on your keyboard, draw a big rectangle, and drag these corners all the way until they don't go anymore. Hit I for eyedropper, I drop that green color, and then we want to add that stroke color. So click on this swatch little drop down list for stroke, and then click on that little blue color there. And we had nine for the stroke weight. And then we have another, hit V on your keyboard, move that down a little bit. We have another rectangle that's going to come out of here. So hold down Alt, drag this over, eyedropper for this. And you know what? I think I want to align all of these. So with my selection tool, I'm going to select all these shapes right here. And then go to my Align panel, which is Window Align right here my line panel and I'm going to click this button right here where they can center all that on a vertical line that's good right there and then I want to select these two shapes that's going to be the tube and go to my pathfinder which is window pathfinder if you don't see that window pathfinder and I'm going to combine those shapes and then right click this arrange send to back alright looking good let's see what else should we add let's add something to Let's add something to the handle here. I'm actually going to hit A on my keyboard, drag a selection box around these, and drag these down just a little bit more. I think that should look a little bit longer. Oh, that was too long. Drag it just about there. Then I'm going to hit P on my keyboard, click one dot or one point, hold down Shift, click another one, hit V to deselect that, select it again, round off the caps with the appearance panel, stroke, round off the caps. Very good. Bring that down over here. And then zoom in a little bit. I'm going to grab right on the path, hold down Alt, click and drag up to here, and then just do Command D a couple times after that. Hold down Shift and select all of these at the same time. With your arrow keys, nudge it over a little bit. And if some of them look off, like that one looks a little bit off, I can move that to the side a little bit like that. Oops. Okay. All right. Very good. I just add some detail to the handle. Go back and adjust those a little bit more with my arrow keys, nudging them over. And then uh, I think I just want to add kind of a little detail right in here. It doesn't have to be exactly like the reference image, you know? So let's just kind of add some stuff that looks good to us. Right in there's good. I'm actually not liking that yellow screen color, so I'm going to double click on my fill here, make that a little bit more sharp here. Just like that, probably. Whoops. Also, it's looking kind of flat, so I'm going to go to File, Document Color, RGB Mode Color. Let's try that again. Double click on the fill, brighten that up a little bit. That's looking better. Okay, now I can click on these shapes, hit eyedropper, and just eyedrop that new color. That looks good. Very good. Of course you can pick your own colors. It doesn't have to be the exact ones that I'm using here. Um, but there we go. That's pretty close to a super soaker that I want. You can add in some more details later um, as you see fit and uh, round off corners. If you feel like you need to round off corners, just click on the shape and then round off the corner as you see fit. Um, I also might want to add in a little bit of a glow there. Oh, and it looks like I'm missing one band right here. So let's add that band that holds the Super, super Soaker tube onto there. So what I'm going to do for that is I'm just going to get my pen tool, just tap P for pen tool. I'm going to come down here, click and drag, select that point, hold down shift, click another point, 
come up here, hold down P, let me undo that. Let me come right here. You want to try to get those lines as parallel as possible. Make a curve, select back on that point, and then close the shape. I for eyedropper, I drop that, and then that looks like it kind of connects. So I'm going to hold down Option, click and drag this point, and make it look like it connects at the bottom there. Very good. Um, I'm going to click back on this shape and see if I can round off those corners. Let's see if I can do that. Okay, what I'm going to do is hit V on my keyboard, select that shape, hit A, and then I can kind of round off these corners somewhat, just like that. Very good. Okay, and then the last thing I think I want to do is make a little reflection or a little kind of reflective type deal. Um, hit M on my keyboard, zoom into that my little corners here, click and drag those all the way, and I'm going to cross out the fill, and then for the, I'm sorry, cross out the stroke, and then for the fill, I want to, let's come down here to our color picker, double click on that, and let's make it kind of a, a lightish green color like this. All right, there's your super soaker. Very good, it's a vector, and I can select all of this and hit command G now, and now I can option shift, hold down option and shift and scale this, and there we go. We've created a vector of a water gun based off of a real image. That's pretty cool. Add as many details as you want to. I can see that, that I can probably make a protrusion down here by making some more rectangles and over here to the left where all that kind of comes out of there. Um, so add in as many details as you want to. Uh, but this is just kind of fun to do, uh, to create a, a vector based off of an image.